During Season 7, we have seen the introduction of Captaincy. Alongside many new features of the game, Captain's Voyages are a brand new way to adventure within the Sea of Thieves. In today's journey, myself and my friend Birch decided to stack the new, most expensive voyage in the game, the Captain Stash Voyage. A single quest costs approximately 5,000 gold and a bundle costs 25,000. We wanted to see if these voyages are actually worth it and what profit they could bring. Our adventure starts at Ancient Spire Outpost. For this voyage, we're going to be running the Reaper's Bones Emissary, as we're going to be getting a lot of varied loot. For those of you who don't know anything about the Captain's Stash Voyages, essentially each voyage gives you an island in close proximity. These islands will have approximately three digs on. Typically, you're going to be getting a lot of supply crates. However, you can also dig up tridents, Ashen Wind Skulls, and finally a message in a bottle. This bottle takes you to a different island where you can dig up either a chest of tribute or a chest of legends. However, these bottles are the rarest dig that can drop. As well as this, myself and Birch decided to pick up any island loot, including coral bottles, which include further quests. These quests will take us to any of the shrines or treasuries around the map, allowing us to get Breath of the Seas. All of that being said, we stocked up our boat, purchased a stack of voyages and got to sailing. Our first voyage took us over to Crook's Hollow. Here we picked up our first coral bottle, along with a wood crate, ammo crate and a fruit crate. I think overall, this quest is a good, reliable way of getting a lot of supplies fast, but it was at this point where I struggled to see how I was going to make a profit from my 100,000 coin investment. Moving on to the next island, after fighting a skeleton ship for more loot and emissary level, we again picked up more of the same in fruit crates, cannibal crates and wood crates. It remained this way for the next few islands. Oh, coral bottle. <laughs> oh, the storage crates uh, can have curses and stuff in. Before we complete the voyage. Don't I, that. Sorry, I, as you said, don't. I it was already yeah, made animation. Yeah. Oh. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Yeah, that's going to damage our boat. No, we, we, we'll just sell it as an apple or something. Oh, the other Reaper's not far from us. Yeah, I'm gonna sail you to one of them and then sail over to Kraken Oh, there's other Reapers on the server? There's one other Reaper. After completing four more voyages, we happen to notice another Reaper on our server, holding a Reaper's chest. For the time being, we left them be until later on in our session, just before trying to grab a Breath of the Sea from one of the shrines, they started to approach. As luck would have it, we managed to pick up a strong old keg from one of our previous voyages to which I began to swim over to their boat. Unfortunately for us though, they had veered off the path we thought they were going to take and had to sink them the old fashioned way. I shot them. Why not? Yep. Still getting used to it. I feel like they they were very close. Nice. One. They're they're doing a bad turn here. This is good for us. Kill one, just sacked him instantly. Yeah, I'm going over. I'm going over. Go for it. Go for it. He's on. And he's yeah, dead. I'm, on I'm anchoring them. Yeah. Get bot. Get lower one. Yeah, so they're all dead. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> After managing to sink the brig, we grabbed all of their loot, including a gold hoarder flag, and headed back to the shrine to pick up our Breath of the Sea. We had finally reached Reaper 5, allowing us to see any other emissary's location on the horizon. And it was our next set of digs following the fight that we had some fortune in picking up a Ashen Wind Skull. 
Unfortunately, again, not much luck followed this dig uh, for a few more voyages, consistently digging up ammo crates for some reason, until we made it over to Snake Island, picking up another Ashen Wind Skull. Hmm? We are digging on the wrong beach. Oh, there's two, multiple beaches? Uh, Ashen Wind Skull. Oh, maybe I'll like changing. It wasn't long before leaving Snake Island, though, that we noticed yet another Reaper heading our way. This sloop was not a captain ship, so I think it was safe to assume that these were going to be hoppers. Hoppers usually are better at PvP than your average ship, so we had to prepare ourselves for a long fight. Luckily, thanks to all of the voyages we had completed, we definitely had enough supplies to last for a very long time. And this did end up playing a crucial role in the fight. I'm here. Yep. Fair enough. Still. Yeah. I'm getting all. Oh, no, never mind. I'm getting all. Slap the one on Will. I quick them. Killed one. Nice. Repair our boat. Yeah. Oh, he he blundered us me in the bottom. I'm dead. Okay. I'm just gonna repair mast and get out. Yeah, there's a guy alive though. Careful. How do you still have? I'm aiming at their cannon. Yep. I'm gonna have him dead. Yep. He should be dead soon. That I'm gonna be dead here myself. Don't die, don't eat, no, eat, there we go. I got him. Eat, He's eat, dead. Eat, go eat. over. Go over. Yeah, yeah. Killed him. I killed him with a cannon. Uh, uh, I didn't get on. I didn't get on. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they have enough holes. It might just sink naturally. Are they, are they both dead? Yeah, I killed them both with a the cannon. They're both here. <sighs> So unlucky. I can't, I can't miss, bro. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Awesome, All right. They, uh. You got their mass with cannonballs? They're repairing their mass right now. We can get them in a bad here if you can get the mass again. I'll try it. No. No. I'm on a full turn right now. You gotta turn and like, shoot in front of them. I killed one. He's dead. Nice. Stop him from reviving. I'll try. Dude, it's so hard. I'm sorry. It's fine. Run out. It's gonna, it's gonna harpoon us or something. Run over. No, no. One's dead, one's dead. I'm, I'm stopping him from resing. I didn't stop him from resing, I think. I'm not sure. No, you did, you did. Okay, nice. Harpoon me if you can. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll, I'll get the fire. I did it, I did it, I saved it. Nice. Oh, you are a legend. But the other guy's gonna come over now. Alright, I'm, I'm be, I'll am i be there. I'll be there. I'm here? Yep. Jewel bucket. Get us out of here, get the anchor, get the anchor, get the anchor, get the anchor, get the anchor. We need the anchor. Yep, I got it. Yeah, man. One shot over. Fine, he's on, he's on. He's, I'm one blundered, but he's low, I shot him once. Oh my god, we saved it. Go get the go get buckets, I'm gonna pepper him. Yeah, we need to get out of here though. I'm so low, one cannon shot and I'm dead down there. I might I'm gonna try board this. No. Trust me. Okay. Oh the crows, I almost got in the crows. You've shot over? Yeah, I got it. They got a murm instantly there. This turn. No, you're fine. They, they've they've resetting as well. Okay. I'm shaking right now, dude. Any pressure on them. Yeah. He's gonna have an inventory of stuff since he's here. Yeah. I kill one. Okay. I'm... 
getting the boat there as fast as possible? Uh, I don't think they have supplies. Their mast is not fully repaired and they weren't eating because I just one shot him. Dude, incredible. Good fight. No. Yeah. Good cannons, dude. Insane cannons. It's good fun. Yeah, they... Here's the important chest. Here's the important chest. Oh, right, okay. They've left. <laughs> they left. <laughs> hey, we did leave the game? Yeah, they left the game. We can go grab their flag, I guess. Uh, Paradise is where we need to be. Like, let's just okay, you, you, do our you, digs. You go here and do the digs. I'll go, go see if I can find the flag. Around 30 minutes later, and it seems that we won the fight by outsupplying them. Something we would not have been able to do had we not have been completing these voyages. After we finished our final voyage at Paradise Spring, we headed over to Reapers to sell everything that was considered treasure. It seemed we was not having any luck in getting Athenas or Chest of Tributes today, and after all of the quests we had completed, it felt time to call it. After selling all of the treasure, Birch came up with the idea of testing if all of our supplies, including ammo crates, could be taken through the portals to switch servers as there was yet another Reaper approaching. Luckily, this was the case and we was able to sell the rest of the loot for a decent amount of gold for a session earning of 330,000 coins. We actually made profit, but in all honesty, this was not down to the captain's dash voyages. We actually got very, very unlucky with them and it was everything outside of that on our adventure which helped us. So, was it worth it? Honestly, I really don't know. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out the other videos on my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.